let's talk about building a new plant. Earlier we discussed uh, how we calculate the levelized cost of energy and that's simply the average total cost at the expected capacity factor where we anticipate we'll be running the plant over its lifetime. So we think about the, the, the fixed payments we'll make over the course of the lifetime of the plant, the variable costs we'll make over the lifetime of the plant at the anticipated capacity factor, and that's going to be our average total cost. Now, at a given capacity factor, we're going to be choosing capacity factors that are in the sort of engineering design range for the plant. Uh, this is, we size the plant according to how much we expect it to be run. Um, keep in mind that the levelized cost of energy includes the fixed cost of building the plant, and the fixed cost includes the normal economic rate of return for investing in this part of the economy rather than some other part of the economy. So the levelized cost of energy includes all the, pl all the payments the plant needs to get to cover the fuel costs and the cost of uh, inducing investors to want to put their money into building new electricity capacity rather than building a new shoe factory or something else. So this is what we call the normal rate of return. That is built into the levelized cost of energy. So what that means is the levelized cost of energy should, in theory, be uh, the price of a contract for power from, from the new facility we're building. Uh, any price higher than that would mean that people investing in these power plants were making a higher rate of return than other things they could be doing with their money. Any lower price would mean they're making less than they could get if they invested in some other sector of the economy. So um, for investors to be satisfied with the amount of money they're investing in power plants versus other things, they have to be making about the same rate of return in this business as in some other business they could go into. And that's, uh, that's all embedded in the interest rate that um, investors need to induce them to put money into power plants instead of something else. So the, levelized co the, the key idea here is the levelized cost of energy includes the payments to entrepreneurs to get them to be interested in investing in this part of the economy rather than some other part of the economy. Let's just remember how we calculate the levelized cost of energy. If you think about a stream of fixed payments for financing the power plant and then a stream of variable costs coming in over future years, we, and, and of course operation and maintenance costs as well, if we take all those costs and discount them to present today's values and then add them up, that is our total cost of operating this, co this power plant over the course of its lifetime. Then if we calculate how much electricity we think we'll be generating over the course of the lifetime of the plant, we can just divide those megawatt hours into the, uh, into the cost of operating the plant and we'll have the average total cost over the lifetime of the plant. That's the levelized cost of energy. And the, the calculations are very straightforward. We could set up a spreadsheet to do our calculations for us, but we have to anticipate what's going to be happening to future costs of operating the plant. The, the long-term financing contract is all set. Those values are set for the full term of the contract. But we have to anticipate what our variable costs are be. What are future fuel costs going to be? What are future operation and maintenance costs going to be? What are labor costs going to be 10 years from now? What is the demand for electricity going to be 10 years from now? That's going to tell us whether we'll be able to operate this plant at our anticipated capacity factor. Naturally, there's a risk that we'll be wrong about those things. We might be wrong on the low side. We might be wrong on the high side. We're going to make our best forecast 
and that's going to tell us our expected levelized cost of energy for the power plant. All right, how about variable prices? Well, if, if electricity values were uh, variable prices for electricity, if electricity value were constant, this would be easy. So if electricity prices were the same year after year after year, <clears throat> we would just take them, discount them to the present, <clears throat> and it would be very easy to compare electricity prices to our levelized cost of energy. And if the electricity price was greater than or equal to our levelized cost of energy, fine, we'll make the investment. If it's less than the levelized cost of energy, we won't. But life is more complicated than that. Uh, the value of a given megawatt hour generated now or in the future uh, is not constant. Uh, the value of megawatt hours will vary um, based on both the demand and the supply uh, of electricity, and those vary throughout the day, across regions, and across seasons, and across the years when the power plant will be in service. So electricity prices have patterns of variation, um, some in the very short run, within a day, some within weeks and seasons. They vary across geographic regions and then uh, over long periods of time as well. In the longer run, growth in the economy applies some future but uncertain growth in the demand for electricity. Uh, and of course, in the case of India, uh, we've seen some really big changes in the rate of growth of electricity demand relative to what we expected just 10 or 15 years ago. So we have to think about both um, uh, short-term variation in prices and then what the larger economy implies about uh, what we're going to need in terms of additional generation over time. The, a third factor we'll need to consider is what about the change in technology over time? In the long run, the technology of generation will change uh, will in, in very unpredictable ways, and that will mean the cost of supply will change. So we think about um, a technological uh, innovation, so the advent of much less expensive renewables have changed the prospects for future profitability of large fossil baseload power plants. And the advent of batteries uh, change in interesting ways the um, value of baseload plants and the value of renewable plants.